You may have heard about the company Herbalife that sells diet products through an army of nearly three million distributors. It's a huge business that's also created a huge controversy with high profile supporters and detractors doubling down. Now ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross with details of our undercover investigation. Good evening, Brian. Well, good evening, Dan. We spent more than six months trying to learn all we could about this company, which is now the target of federal investigations and the subject of an epic battle between Wall Street billionaires. Confetti flying, music blaring, and the crowd cheering. The American dream seems alive and well at the diet and nutrition products company called Herbalife. Let's have a little fun, you know? This is Herbalife! Here's the CEO, Michael Johnson, at a convention of its big money earners. The cumulative value of our bonus tonight is $52 million. Give me one of those checks! <laughs> Even more impressive are the highly produced videos posted on YouTube from some of Herbalife's top independent distributors. If you just dream, you also too can have everything we have and much more. Featuring the lure of big homes, private helicopters, and fast cars. I step out of the Ferrari, the Bentley, whatever, and people go, you know, what does that guy do for a living? And I go, I'm an Herbalife independent distributor. Founded 34 years ago, Herbalife produces a range of diet powders and other nutrition products that are not sold in stores, but only in person by more than 3 million independent distributors in some 90 countries around the world. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have signed up as Herbalife distributors or members. But the reality, as Herbalife well knows, is that very few of them lining up here for what's called its yearly extravaganza will ever make enough to be supporting a Ferrari lifestyle. Can I ask you some questions about Herbalife? When we showed up, security guards moved in. They're only authorized officers. And word was passed not to talk with ABC News. We love Herbalife. But you don't want to talk about it? Not to you. Yeah, there's nothing more to say. I love It's Herbalife. best if you don't talk to any media. Corporate's on their way up to talk to them. It's okay. I just said I love Herbalife. And for all of its success with a new corporate headquarters in downtown Los Angeles, Herbalife is also a company now under investigation by the FBI and the Federal Trade Commission in the wake of widely publicized allegations with flashy headlines that the company is an illegal pyramid scheme. At Herbalife, we're immensely proud of the fact that we believe we have an unrivaled business opportunity. Herbalife's president is Des Walsh, who, like the CEO, used to work at the Walt Disney Company, the parent of ABC News. Speaking before the federal investigations were made public, Walsh strongly denied its distributors are misled about the prospects of getting rich, saying most of them only want the product for themselves or a little extra income. The reality is that most people know that this is a wonderful way in which to pay for a 50 or $60 startup fee to earn a few hundred extra supplemental dollars a month. That is what we are selling. Is that really what you're selling, though, is a part-time supplemental income? It appears what you're selling is you can get rich through Herbalife. And Brian, that is not our message, and you, will not. Not, you will not hear that message on stage. Part-time, stand up! At last year's extravaganza in Las Vegas, some part-time distributors did get a chance to take a bow off stage. I love Herbalife! But the biggest hoopla at this corporate event was reserved on stage for the upper echelons of the distributors, the president's team, and the chairman's club. I promise you, if someone that was homeless, that was lost on the inside could do it, every last person breathing with a beating heart that was born from a mother and a father could do the exact same thing. If they're misrepresenting what you can realistically expect to earn, that's dishonest. James Angel is a professor of business at Georgetown University. What's important is, is the company being truthful with the representatives they bring in? This is a little camera. Which is why we decided to see for ourselves, going undercover with two ABC News journalists who suited up with cameras hidden in buttons, watches, even water bottles. It's recording. Good. And became Herbalife distributors. Some 60% of the company's American distributors are Latino, and our reporters, William Gallego and Reem Montez, began here, in a Latino neighborhood of Queens in New York City, at an unmarked storefront 
with its green awning and windows covered over as required by Herbalife. Hello. Herbalife calls this a nutrition club, one of thousands across the country where distributors offer diet shakes for a daily $5 membership fee. But it is also where we signed up, first to become basic members and then jumped to supervisor by buying what they call 4,000 volume points for about $3,900. This is how it works. For our $3,900, we got a huge shipment of Herbalife products, details on how to make the diet shakes for customers, and specific instructions in a company brochure on how to sell the products using before and after pictures. And then the supervisor's training session with the topic here in Spanish, how to make money. Others showed off their before and after pictures. There was a lot of talk about nutrition and weight loss and no shortage of substantial income claims. I never believed that I'd just get an extra thousand dollars in the bank on top of what I'm already making. I love Herbalife. In last month, I made almost $8,000. And because of Herbalife, I'm able to buy my house and I can pay for. A video from the CEO offered a disclaimer about income expectations. Incomes can vary from person to person. But the final speaker at this session, a member of the president's team, told us how to make the big money. Not by selling the actual products part-time, but by signing up other distributors, what's called a downline, and then taking a cut of their profits. The secret is to get five other people to do the same thing every month and teach them to get five other people to do the same thing every month. Before you know it, not only will you be a supervisor, but you'll have five supervisors under you, we'll have five supervisors underneath them, we'll have five supervisors under them. That's 155 supervisors. And if they're each doing about 2,000, 2,500 volume points a month, you're going to be making somewhere in the neighborhood of $42,000 a month. That would be just over $500,000 a year, quite the sales pitch. Yet, according to this Herbalife document for last year, which all distributors are required to read, only a fraction of 1% of all U.S. distributors, 199 individuals, were paid $250,000 or more from their downline. But it sounded here like almost anyone could do it with enough hard work. So you don't have to be some super salesman. We just have to share the opportunity. The question that many have raised is whether you're selling a false hope. Brian, absolutely not. You don't think that's the pitch that, that Herbalife not, makes? That, that is not the pitch and that is not the expectation. This next one sounds like an all-American success story. A high Herbalife got in serious trouble years ago in the 1980s because its founder, Mark Hughes, was accused of being dishonest and deceitful by recruiting distributors with exaggerated claims about getting rich. The second year, you'll make $125,000 and that's the least amount of money that you're gonna make. The California Attorney General got an injunction against Herbalife to prevent it from making false or misleading representations about guaranteed income or supposed health benefits. As with all companies, Brian, there are some things in our history that we may not be proud of. Are you still under the provisions of that injunction? We are, and we believe that we're fully compliant with those, with those provisions. In its training materials, the company tells distributors not to say Herbalife can treat, cure, or prevent any disease. But our undercover reporters found a number of Herbalife distributors making such medical claims. This distributor in New York City told us the story of a woman who had an inoperable brain tumor. Whatever it is that the product did, it helped her a lot. Who regained her health after she began taking Herbalife products. Does Herbalife cure brain tumors? Absolutely not, and frankly, I am appalled to hear you say this, because what is happening there is a complete and absolute violation of our rules. Does it happen often? I do not believe so. But that was not the only time we caught on tape medical claims being made. At some of the training sessions, new distributors were told Herbalife products help to treat heart disease. 24 years ago, I had early congestive heart failure. Nothing worked. In Spanish, treat headaches and anemia. And even helped one woman get pregnant. I'm 20 years old, got my first pregnancy. <laughs> So, Brian, first of all, it distresses me to hear these, right? Because we and our distributors have an uncompromising commitment um, to the highest levels of integrity and a consistent message. But this is going on right now. 
and this is something we clearly need to address, and we will do so. These instances, Brian, are absolute aberrations. These are anomalies. This is not the herbal life that I know. But since our interview, the company has revealed to ABC News that, in fact, almost 600 distributors were disciplined last year alone for making medical claims, with 12 of them stripped of their distributorships. Obviously, it's distressing to hear any criticism, but what we do is we put them in the context of the herb life that we know, which is that of a good company doing good in communities. You saw the precipitous drop that that stock had. All of this is being closely watched on Wall Street and played out on the cable business channels, as big-time investors have taken sides, and the herbal life stock price has been up and down like a roller coaster. Much of the recent scrutiny and the federal investigations can be traced to this powerful hedge fund operator, Bill Ackman, who has mounted an aggressive $20 million media and political campaign claiming Herbalife is a fraud. It's up to the government to determine whether we are right or we are wrong. By what's called shorting the stock, Ackman could make more than a billion dollars for his fund if the price of Herbalife stock collapses. I've said publicly that I will pursue this to the end of the earth. And as part of his campaign, Ackman introduced us to a former Herbalife executive coming forward for the first time to blow the whistle on what he called the ethical shortcomings of the company. I was part of an organization that was actually exploiting the vulnerable. But we would learn later that Ackman's team and the whistleblower did not tell us the whole story. Right, you tried to hide this from me. Why did you do that? When we return. As our team went undercover for an investigation into the company Herbalife, ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross met a potentially crucial whistleblower but he also discovered there was more to the story. The people who blow the whistle on government and corporate wrongdoing are American legends. If you've got vital insider stuff, the American people for their welfare really do need to know. It. Immortalized as heroes by Hollywood. Follow the money. Like Watergate deep throat, Mark Felt. <laughs> Nuclear industry whistleblower, Karen Silkwood. And tobacco insider, Jeffrey Wygant. How That's how Giovanni Borges was presented to us, as a hero. I had a moral conflict that was really big. A former executive who left the controversial Herbalife company in 2011, Borges said he was ready to put himself in jeopardy in order to reveal what he called the ethical shortcomings of the nutrition products company. I decided to leave my job. Borges told us his legal bills and travel were being paid by one of the company's Wall Street critics, but he wasn't receiving, he said, any other benefit. No. Not at all? Nothing. I'm not getting a benefit. But now we've learned there was something he did not tell us. This secret deal with Herbalife Wall Street critic Bill Ackman, a financial cushion that could pay Borges as much as $250,000 a year for 10 years if he lost his new job for talking to the media or the government, with other benefits, a potential total value of $3.6 million. And we're not paying him for what he has to say. What we're doing but is- But you did pay him. You don't think that's a problem? I think it's important that it's disclosed. That's a very, very important fact. But Ackman and Borges only disclosed the deal to us after questions were raised in this New York Times story about Ackman's financial ties to other critics of Herbalife. At a meeting in a park near his California home, Borges told us his answers in our first interview were truthful because he was not receiving payments at the time. He says he only asked for and began receiving the payments, $20,000 a month, a few weeks after the ABC News interview. At which point, he says, he had lost his new job and his wife had lost her job, too. So far, he has collected $80,000 from Ackman. Look, I'm... You tried, you tried to hide this from me. Look, there were things... Why did you do that? How can anybody believe what you say if you're not truthful about this? Look, Ryan... No, answer that question. Can you? Look, I had a job. No, how can I anybody... I lost my job. This agreement protects me from any losses. According to the deal, Borges has already provided information to government agencies investigating Herbalife. Did you disclose this to the federal agencies? Uh, His lawyer, Stephen Alexander, yeah. then ended we're the done. interview. We're done, Brian. We're this done. is an important question. Yeah. We're done. We're not we're talking. Done. We told you we're not talking about what he's talked to the federal agencies. Borges's deal with Ackman requires him to look for a new job, 
and to tell the truth in his disclosures about Herbalife. He says the stress of being a whistleblower has taken a great toll on him, but that always he has told the truth. Borquez's lawyer says it was our fault for not asking the right questions, but by not disclosing the deal to us originally, we found it hard to put him on the air as someone claiming his former company was hiding information about its operation. One more twist in the battle being waged over Herbalife with billions of dollars, thousands of jobs, and the fate of a company in the balance, Dan. Brian, thank you very much for that report.